Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol JNUG. We'll take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I let you this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation, it makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today the price has made a very nice bounce. I mean, when you consider where the price was at its lows, and then all of a sudden you look at where the price managed to close on the day, any rational person is gonna say, yeah, the price has definitely made a very nice move on the day. But that does lead into the valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make mapping out that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area. And that area is down here at $9.25. Why is 9.25 important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with genuine power, with true strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not gonna go back to where it was. Exactly, so with that in mind, think about 925. Any sort of breaks below there or worse set if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of that range of the chart that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price goes down here, behaves in that manner, and then starts to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have that set of lows down there if you envision each one of those as stair steps. Well, hey, that now you have stair steps making progress in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this situation, I'm just defining and quantifying that phrase as progress once more as 925. As far as areas of resistance are concerned, pretty straightforward right now. It's all about the purple line, which uh, on my chart denotes the very famous 50 period simple moving average. And you can see on two separate occasions today, the price got right up around that general area and could never quite push through. So that'll be the key area to watch going forward um, if this uh, is gonna get any sort of upward momentum and continuation from the bounce today. All in all though, like I said, you gotta give credit where credit's due. Price has made a nice bounce. Let's see if the price can build upon this momentum or not. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.